Welcome to another Helix Minute video, and in this one, we're going to cover how to set an input gate on a Helix family product, as well as cover some of its common applications. The Helix signal path starts with an input block on the left side of the main display. Use the joystick to navigate to the input block, then turn knob 1 to activate the input gate. The two gate controls we want to understand here are threshold on knob 2 and the decay value on knob 3. Threshold is the amount of input level that allows the gate to open and your tone to come through. Decay is the time it takes for the gate to close once the signal drops below that threshold. The first step here is to set the threshold so that there's less noise when you're not playing. Start by moving the threshold value to negative 96 dB, which is the lowest setting on knob 2. Then turn the volume on your instrument all the way up. Now bring the threshold level up until you have little to no background noise. Reduce the threshold if you feel it's interfering with your tone. The next step here is to adjust the decay level. A longer decay usually works better for clean tones to ensure that your chords are all ringing out as intended. Use knob 3 to adjust the decay to ensure the gate stays open for longer, without cutting off any sustained notes. With higher gain tones, you can use more aggressive settings for threshold and decay to reduce both feedback and noise when playing staccato. Switch to preset 1D and navigate to the input block there. Then turn the input gate on using knob 1. Play a couple staccato power chords to hear how the length of the decay sounds when set at 500 milliseconds. If you'd rather have a gate somewhere else on your signal chain, you can find this option in the Dynamics category. Be sure to place this in front of any effects that you don't want gated, mainly reverb. That's it for this Helix Minute video. For more information, feel free to visit line6.com, and thank you for watching.